It's a sight so striking, many stopped to stare and take a selfie. It's great, it's fantastic. I say, oh my God, <laughs> it's crazy. It's a little risque, but it's New York, right? So I guess anything goes here. For others who live and work near the pink and red painted male genitalia on Broom Street, not so much. It's awful. It was painted Sunday, Christmas Eve morning. Since then, many complained to the local community board. Crews splattered gray over it this afternoon. It is like two school things just zone around here, so kids have to walk past this, uh, so I don't think that part is appropriate for kids. The painting was commissioned by the nonprofit The New Allen and created by Swedish artist Carolina Falkholt. In a statement, she said, Many of my murals, including these, are about not feeling ashamed of your body and who you are as a sexual being. Just recently, she painted one portraying a woman's private parts on Pike Street. The New Allen tells us it cost around $10,000 to create the artwork on the building, including grants from the Swedish government. There's been as many people outrageous there's been so many people glad this was you know a total form of expression and it raised it raised the point of conversation which is um, gender equality um, so many so many conversations around it and the nonprofit that commissioned the artist tells me she'll be back here in a few weeks to paint something new just probably not as bold on the Lower East Side Lisa Rosner CBS 2 News we're told the landlord did approve artwork on the building, but didn't know what was going to be painted. Uh